The number of people who lost their lives due to the coronavirus continues to increase in Wuhan, China. According to the statements of the Chinese National Health Commission, the youngest of those who died due to coronavirus is 48 years old and the oldest is 89 years old. Allegations about how this virus, which alarms the whole world, are still being talked about. One of them is that cats that are frequently mentioned on social media can also be infected with coronavirus. So is such a thing possible? The world is alarmed with the coronavirus 2019 NCOV that originated in China. Experts state that this virus can be passed on to people with an intermediary animal. Many claims have been made on the social media regarding the origin of the virus. Among them there was a claim that cats could also pass the coronavirus. So, does coronavirus, which can occur in cats, also infect humans? Veterinary surgeon M. Bahadir Urs answered our questions. There are many subtypes of coronaviruses. What type of this is encountered in cats and dogs? Coronary virus infections in cats and dogs are caused by different subgroup viruses of the coronavirus family. A type of coronavirus is the cause of FIP, feline infectious peritonitis, disease, which is common in cats, especially worldwide. Likewise, canine enteric coronavirus, which presents with diarrhea and vomiting anorexia in dogs, is also a subgroup virus related to the coronavirus family. There is no transmission of human coronavirus infections belonging to two different species. One causes infections in cats and one in dogs. It is said that SARS, a member of the coronavirus family, can be transmitted from animals such as monkeys, Himalayan musk cat, raccoon dog, cat, dog and rodents. The same claims are being made for 2019 NCOV, which is currently panicking all over the world. Is there any infection between us and any cat in our house or on the street? How accurate is this information? It has already been established that the newly emerging coronavirus in China belongs to the same family as the MERS or SARS viruses that have appeared previously. Most of the animal species mentioned in SARS infections had to be carriers as carriers, not sources of infection. Unfortunately, it is a situation that we always encounter when people think that each coronavirus is the same virus and panic. Therefore, it is not possible for the coronavirus types we describe to pass to humans from the cats we feed in our house or garden, from the cats living on the streets. How does a cat catch FCOV? How possible is it to protect cats from coronavirus? Unfortunately, feline coronavirus infections are common in cats. There are two versions of this infection in cats, one is feline enteric coronavirus and one is feline infectious peritonitis. The first type can be easily transmitted from cats to cats. Especially common toilet containers, food containers, cat shelters, feces of infected cats, and sensitive cats can easily be transmitted by contact. This feline enteric coronavirus that we are talking about is not fatal but progresses as mild infections that cause vague diarrhea. Feline infectious peritonitis, on the other hand, is a variant virus that occurs as a result of mutation of the feline enteric virus, which we mentioned, after mutation, causing death in cats by threatening the system with many organs. Unfortunately, we do not have the chance to protect against both types of viruses with vaccine in cats. Taking care of our cat in good conditions and keeping the immune system strong is one of the few things we can do to protect against the virus. Studies have recently accelerated to use antiviral drugs, which are frequently used in both human and animal medicine, for coronavirus infection in cats. We expect good developments in this regard soon. How did coronavirus infect humans? The researchers determined that the protein codes in 2019 NCOV are similar to those in the coronavirus carried by two species of snakes, mostly in China. It is stated that the sale of snakes in the seafood market in Wuhan, which is thought to have emerged, brings the possibility of the virus being transmitted primarily from bats to snakes and from them to humans. This virus, which manifests as high fever, sore throat, cough, shortness of breath, difficulty in breathing and diarrhea, causes pneumonia and kidney failure and can lead to death. There is no medicine or vaccine available against this virus yet.